In this video, I'm going to be transforming Pokemon into Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. Well, drawing them in that style at least. I'm also going to be taking the opportunity to do another comparison between Posca paint markers and Copic markers. First, I'm going to be drawing the cute Pokemon in a cartoon style with Posca pens. Then, I'm going to draw them in the FNAF horror style with my Copic markers. That's when things will get a little bit gory and dark, so if you're into horror art, definitely stick around for that. But right now, it's time for a nice colourful artwork of Pikachu. Ah, oh, such a cute little electric rodent. With the outlining complete, it's always super satisfying adding the black outlines with Posca pens, that brings us to the end of this little Pikachu Posca artwork. But now the real fun begins, because I'm going to transform Pikachu into a bloodthirsty animatronic version that would fit perfectly into the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. And if you enjoy art videos like this, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I've got some really fun things planned especially if you're a FNAF fan. But right now, I'm gonna get stuck into this drawing. I hope you'll like how it turns out. This Pikachu animatronic wouldn't be complete without adding some of my signature blood splatter and of course, some white highlights. Can't forget those. And now for the final reveal. Comparing cute cartoon Posca Pikachu and Copic Abomination animatronic Pikachu. Which is your favorite? In life, we're faced with some pretty big decisions. Choosing your career path, a life partner, which Gen 1 starter Pokemon do you choose? So, I'm gonna draw the three Gen 1 starters, and I want you to choose your favorite one by the end of this video. And let me know in the comments down below which of these Pokemon animatronics you'd take on your team. Just make sure you keep them well fed, otherwise they might turn on you. First up, I'm gonna draw the adorable Bulbasaur. Slightly overlooked out of the trio, but I think a worthy companion. If you're a Bulbasaur fan, give the video a thumbs up.
with this Posca painting of Bulbasaur complete, it's time to move on to a slightly worse for wear animatronic version. I wanted to draw a battle scarred Bulbasaur. This Copic animatronic Bulbasaur will be a big contrast from the pristine Posca pen version. Let's see how it turns out. I think this Bulbasaur needs to get to a poker center ASAP. And here's the final comparison. How things started, first how they're going. <coughs> now I'm gonna draw the fan favorite little fire lizard, Charmander, with my Posca markers first. But stick around to see the animatronic version coming up soon. I was unsure which tone of orange to go for, for this Charmander. The lighter orange, or the darker orange. So I tried out the light orange, and I thought it looked cool, but it kind of looked a bit too much like a shiny Charmander. So to fit in with the other Pokemon, I reverted back to the darker orange, and I think it looks a bit more traditional. Let's just pretend that was a rare sighting of a shiny Charmander, and not me being really indecisive about what colours to use. And that's definitely a positive about Posca markers. You can always paint over something you're not happy with. So that takes a bit of pressure off at least. And there's Charmander complete. Now, for the animatronic version.
And that is Charmander complete. Let me know in the comments down below if Charmander was your starter of choice. Or were you on the Squirtle squad? Last, but certainly not least, I'll be drawing Squirtle. I've always liked water Pokemon, so this will be a fun one. The Posca version definitely turned out super cute, but now it's time to get the Copix out and draw a horrific animatronic version. I don't think turtles have teeth, but this one will, and lots of them. Before I show you the final reveal, I want to thank my amazing patrons for supporting the channel and enabling me to keep making content like this. I'd love to know your favourite drawing of the video, and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.